Hello everybody, it's Sandra. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I have allergies, so sorry about my voice. I did buy yet another $10 jewelry jar after kind of getting skunked on the last couple. Didn't get any good stuff, but I see some pretty Venetian beads right there. I'm not sure there's anything else worthwhile in this jar. It was $10, so you can't argue with the price. Well, let's explore this jar together. Thank you again so much for coming. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think below. Okay, I'll be right back. Look at this cute little cup that I bought at the thrift store. She charged me $2 for this. Isn't that adorable? It's like a butler, I guess. I thought it was a chef at first, but I think it's a butler. This sure seems plenty old. I didn't see any flaws. Mapoko, Japan. I don't know who that is. I don't usually buy stuff like this, but um, I don't know. I thought it looked very old, and I thought that I think it's adorable. Anyway, let's get on with the jar. So I did say something. Not like in a Karen kind of way, but I did say, you know, the last the last couple jars have been really super, super bad. In fact, I tried to shoot one as a video and it was so terrible. I didn't ever even release the video. It was bad, bad. So she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, well, you know, you need to, <laughs> you need to put something good in there. All right. I want to see these beads. Let's see anything else that might look interesting. Whoa, that's a cool earring. Here's what I'm here's what I'm thinking. Ooh. These are nice. What's wrong with these? These are in very nice condition too. I could probably get a few dollars for this beautiful necklace. It's not even broken over here. Wow. I love the colors. Look at that. Baby blue. I guess blue and white. Yeah, with the gold foil. Gorgeous. We'll put this on our neck at the end, okay? The better stuff I will put to the left and the cheaper stuff I will put to the right. People get very upset when I say cheap. Cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad. And please don't be offended if you have any of these pieces and I'm calling them junk or cheap or whatever. I'm looking at everything through a reseller's eyes. So not trying to offend anybody. I actually love cheap junk jewelry, just for the record. I absolutely love it. This is shot. See the elastics all wrecked. It's a stretchy, kind of a beat up leather one that was cute in the day and <laughs> a little bracelet and a cheapo that's right i said it <laughs> cheapo plastic necklace still fun still fun and this looks like a handmade pearl necklace hmm maybe those venetian beads are going to be the only good thing what's well, kind of cute I like arrow jewelry. I don't think it originally came on this necklace. It's kind of pretty though. I like it. Mother of Pearl. This is really fun. Gigantic diamond. I might be able to use this part for something that I have that I need. And here's some non-jewelry stuff. There's always little, <laughs> that's adorable. There's always little non-jewelry stuff in these. It's little tiny dollhouse dolls. Those have some nice age on them, actually. And here is this thing. Sometimes these are silver. Sometimes they say they are, but they're not. Like that probably says 925, right? You think it does? I do. Uh, oh, maybe not. Hold on. Let me look. It doesn't say it. Okay. Well, these are very pretty beads, aren't they? I think they are. I really like those. 
And here's a stretchy. What is that trying to look like? Gucci, right? I think so. And here's the obligatory keychain. <laughs> That's actually cute. It's a cute little thing. I have some, some hoops. Let's get these hoop earrings out of the way. You can tell these are not real. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let me just back up. I'm too close, right? All right. Nothing so great with those hoop earrings. Okay. Some more stuff. National Honor Society. Okay, some more stretchy. Oh, there you go. I love rings like this. <laughs> I'll actually wear this. That's really cute. Okay, I found a keeper. Yay. Some people might think it's too big. Not for me. Very, very fun. I actually have a similar one, believe it or not. See, I do like inexpensive jewelry. Maybe if I use the word inexpensive, it's less upsetting to people. And this is all tangled. Um, this might be cute though. Let me, let me try untangling it. I untangled it. This might be cute on, we'll have a look at this on our neck at the end. And then this little necklace was sort of tangled with it. That's pretty. I like that link. I guess I'll put this one on the right. It's better than some. Ooh, earrings that I like. Well, earring, hopefully the other one is here. I would wear these if we have the other one. We'll see if we find it. Here are some plastic pearls. I can tell right away because they're light and I can also tell by the temperature. They're room temperature, so they're not glass. Okay, nothing much to see here. That's a very cute choker, actually. I'll put this over here, it's kind of better. And this, yeah, let's take a look at this. This seems like it's nicely made, doesn't it? No missing stuff. And that is likely just the, just the mark for the snap mechanism, I would guess. Let me see what it says though. This says yik. Fung, I think, Y-I-K-F-U-N-G. I think that's what that says. This is pretty though. So this will go on your wrist sort of doubled around. All right, I like that one. Hopefully we'll find that other earring that I like. Here's kind of a, a, a cute, <laughs> a cute bracelet, but nothing I can resell. And these are plastic. That is a stone of some kind. Oh, that's pretty. The matching beads. And it looks like something else is tangled up here. Mm, yeah, I got, all right, I'll put it over here. It's worthy. Here's another one of these lace chokers. Somebody probably bought that in like a combo pack. Here's another arrow. It's kind of interesting. And did it come on the same? Yeah, I guess it did. Came on the same thing as this crescent moon. And it's kind of cute. Not signed by anybody. Maybe we'll put this on our neck though. Well, this is certainly not a bracelet because it's too big. This is, I think, an anklet. That's pretty. That's made of stone. And let's see if there's anything else worthy of picking up. I guess I got to keep going. I believe these are called puka shells made in the Philippines. New and unworn. That's kind of cool. And here's a similar, a similar bracelet. This one is magnet. Mm, 
Hmm. You know what I mean? And this is an Alex and Ani. That's good. I do keep these and then I sell them when I get enough of them. So I'll put those with my others. I really like that name brand. Here's some dyed shells and some, I guess, undyed shells. Stretchy. It has some stretch left. And the obligatory watch. There's always a watch in these things. <laughs> okay. Not great. There's some cute little stuff on this. This is another anklet. It's too big for a wrist, see? Losing a lot of its stretch. Some nice stones. Oh yeah, this one. I saw this one in the jar. Oh, it's a necklace. Well, that's very 70s, isn't it? It's very reminiscent of Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Who read that book? I did. I think I read it in sixth grade. I don't remember it really, but I know I read it. That's kind of nice. Nice enameling on that. And a stick pin. I don't see anything. Oh, here's that other earring, so that's good. And here's one of these polished stones. Independent, it's kind of pretty. But this looks no good. I gotta say NG on the rest of these. What a stick pin. Oh, did we already pick that one up? I think we did. And this, and the other one isn't here, I guess, which is too bad. That is fun, but it isn't here. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is is really young young people's thing, young people's jewelry. All right, let's put these on the neck, and then I actually have more jewelry after that, which is going to be another mystery box. So stay tuned for that. Let's have a look at some of these on our neck. I thought this one might be pretty on, and it is. These bits do look like taguanut. Taguanut is always dyed, I believe. It comes from a South American tree. That's really what it looks and feels like, and the style of it would definitely be something like that. And that's pretty. I really like the geometric stuff going on. It's very modern. I like the colors too. That's a pretty piece. This one is too long to really properly show. I think that's cute though. Not old enough, you know, for me. I kind of like jewelry that's older. Cute though, nothing wrong with it that I see any missing stones. No. Well, I like the arrow part for sure. Pretty shade of blue. Of course, this is the star of the show. How beautiful. Look at all these different beads, each one different. I really like the blue and the white together. Oh, that's lovely. A little bit adjustable, too. You can make it longer or shorter. What is that? Oh, I see. Just an end cap. I see. And you can tell if these are hand-blown by feeling them, if they feel a little bit irregular, and these actually do. Well, that's a beautiful thing. How pretty is that? That would go with any outfit, that's for sure. Love it. I'll put all this stuff back. I just found this googly eye. <laughs> Here's all the not as nice stuff and here's all the better stuff. So I'll keep these separated. I'll put this jar away. I'll put this away. I'll put the neck away and I'll be right back. I have a few relationships with some pawn stores. They save costume jewelry for me. And the downside is then when I go in and I see a box like this, that looks like it doesn't have lots of good stuff in it. I am obligated to buy it. That's why they save the stuff for me. So he charged me 35 for this box. I'm thinking there's nothing good in here, but I know at the bottom, because this was sort of separated out, there is some good stuff down here. So let's just have a look. I'm not going to go through every single thing. 
but let's see. That's a bobby pin. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty ornate. And here is a clearly not real bracelet that is wrecked. I might be able to use these stones, however. Yeah, that's actually pretty, isn't it? And that's a bangle. It doesn't open. Huh. Interesting. I did not look at this box yet, by the way. And this is plastic. Here, let me put this on the right. That's kind of better, right? And here's some stuff. Not great. Plastic. You'll see, though, there is some good stuff down here. Bracelet. That's kind of nice. This is cool. It's got a lot of wear, especially on the inside. So I'm going to say NG on that. And I know for sure there is at least one sterling ring. Mod, I don't know who that is. That's actually pretty. Hmm. I think that's what it says. That's very pretty. That's a nice shape. Let's get rid of some of these bangles. These have the seams. I do sort of like these two. I don't know why, but <laughs> I like them. And this one is not in good condition at all. A stretchy. That's cute. I hope the other one's in here. I would wear that. Here's a, a very pretty cloisonne bracelet. Let me see if there's damage. Let's see what we see. Hmm. I can't really see it. Let me look with my loop and see if it's damaged or not. There is some damage. It's not terrible, but there are some places where the enameling has chipped out over time, like right there, for example. All right, well, that's a shame. Let's see if I can find that sterling ring. So here it is. He had like two boxes and one, the, sh the very, very shallow box I looked in quickly when I was standing there and I saw this very, very pretty sterling silver ring. Isn't that nice? 925. Hmm. I really like it. I love the artwork on the sides here. Look at the artisan work. I like the shape of it too. So this is a lovely thing. It's very, very small, but I love it. Is it worth $35? I don't know, not sure, but it certainly is pretty. All right, moving on. Oh, look, they are both here. I will keep those. And these are wood, I think. Oh, remember this stuff? I never made anything out of this stuff, but I've sold it before. I can't remember what it's called. It was big in the 80s. It was like clay where you could make your own jewelry. I can't remember what it's called now. Kind of pretty. Let me see. This is maybe a 1928. Maybe. Mm, this one maybe also. And this one I can see probably says 925. Is that the tree of life? I think so. Oh, good. Okay. Two pieces of silver. That's pretty. I like that. That's very pretty. I, you know what I like about it too? It's very smooth. If you know what I mean. It's like comfortable. That's kind of wacky. Cages kind of thing. Let's see if there is a maker's mark. Of course, when we see this finding right here, this lobster claw clasp was patented in the mid 1990s. So this is not an old piece. Unless somebody switched out that clasp. I don't think so though. Oh, it's pretty nice. And this one, I think, says that it's silver. And um, 
it's not clearly if you can see all that discoloration underneath I'm pretty sure it's marked yeah there it is see it says 925 but it is not you can see a lot of copper or something underneath so that's a that's a fake and this has problems obviously oh this is neat that's pretty space age right let's see well let's just even find out if we have the other one oh a sarah coventry now aren't you pretty missing an awful lot of its gold tone that's sweet though i really like sarah coventry jewelry and what is this, pray tell? Eternal love. Well, this seems like a nicely made thing. Um, hmm. Let me see if I can see a maker's mark. I don't see anything. It is missing a rhinestone. I don't see a mark. It seems like it's stainless steel. It's kind of nice though. And we have some bangles, some sea glass kind of stuff on this charm bracelet. That's cute. Little sea creatures. This may be an anklet. It seems big to be a bracelet. That's kind of cute though. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here. This is probably sterling. It sure looks it, right? Let me untangle it. Oh, I see. I see why he put this in the with the junk. He's got some pretty bad damage right there. Well, that's certainly silver. You could tell immediately. Um, let's see. Oh, here's that other Groovadelic Space Age earring thing. It's like a spaceship. Hmm. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> I wish this wasn't all like badly worn on the metal. It's actually a really super fun bracelet, but it has seen better days, I'm afraid. That's a fun bracelet. What's wrong with that? It's costume for sure. I dig it. I like it. That would look cute on. Oh, what is this? Sterling. Oh, really? Oh, Avon. Huh. Interesting. Um, what is that again? Oh, these things turn. That's cute. Little boot with a faux <laughs> turquoise. I guess this is an Avon bracelet, and somebody stuck a couple of these on Hawaii sterling. Oh, wow. Hmm. Those might sell for a little something on their own. That's a great owl. Avon. What is this one? Oh, the Masonic thing. I don't think that probably came on it originally. I would be shocked. Well, that's actually a really pretty charm bracelet. I like that. I'll definitely take these two sterling ones off and maybe this Masonic one too, which might sell for a little something. And let me, oh, wait, wait a minute. This one might be silver. It's probably only one though. That's definitely silver. Oh, I see. It's missing. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's got all kinds of troubles. Um, oh, good. Here's that other, we're thinking, 1928 by that swirl in the back. Sometimes 1928 is signed. Sometimes it isn't. But that swirl is the giveaway. Um, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to speed it up. And if there's anything good, I'll stop and we can have a look at it. Oh, I didn't mean to stick that back in here. Let me put this over here in case I find the other one. This is pretty. Look at the butterflies. Mm, somewhere to the metal inside. These are kind of wrecked. A 
look at this pretty old thing. I don't know if this chain originally came with it. That's a nice old clasp, though. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Very elegant birds. I wonder if there's supposed to be something hanging down from this. Probably. I love it, though. I believe this is silver. It feels it for sure. Hopefully the other one is here. But sometimes I do lot up singles and sell them. I did kind of untangle these. A lot of these are missing their findings and stuff. Nothing real. Oh, 1970s for sure. Oh, look at all the paint coming off. I see. Okay. Monet. Huh. That is a shame. I love Monet jewelry. I'm actually going to be doing a show showcasing some of my Monet jewelry. Oh, that's too bad. These are kind of cool. These are metal. I love the color purple. These are neat. I think I might wear these. They're noisy though. I don't know if that's going to bug me by my ears, but those are cute. And these are those drink things. You put them on your wine so that everybody knows what drink is yours. Oh, another charm bracelet. Oh, oh, that's odd. It's a charm bracelet on a <laughs> super loser. What? That's nuts. So, huh. How strange this is. So, that, who is that? The MGM statue? What is going on? What is this? Perfect, perfect attendance, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's some sort of fraternal thing. That one looks real, doesn't it? Hmm. We'll check later. Oh, are these all fraternal things? How cool. 1973. Yeah, this looks very 70s for sure. Massachusetts. This is interesting. Um, is that's not the school, is it? No. That's something that's Greek or Latin. I don't know which. Sorry, don't make fun of me. Not sure. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that's very unusual. It certainly doesn't belong on that keychain. That's an interesting piece. Might have a couple of pieces of silver on that. Oh, look at this. Rosaries, but no here, so I'm too close. There's no um, beads. There's just these, these metal, well, they are beads, but they're metal beads, you know what I mean? That's pretty. That looks like that might have some age on it. Oh, that's sweet. That's really sweet. Laurel Birch. Ooh, I know Laurel Birch has sold for me in the past. I hope the other one is here. Um, hmm. These are not them, but they look look similar.
I found the other Laurel Birch. I don't know if this will sell or not. I know she did a lot of things with cats, but those might sell for something. Here's a lovely old blister pearl. I don't think these occur in the wild anymore, but this one is definitely from the wild. This one's probably uh, between the 1900s and the 1920s, I would think. It's too bad that it's missing its ring or pendant or whatever. But here's some more 1928. I I think I think I have matches for these. Oh, that one might be mi missing a little. Some. Oh no, it isn't. Okay. These are pretty earrings. There's an old um, locket. And here's some earrings that I like a lot because they have this awesome movement. These are cool. I like you. I will wear these for sure. And this seemed nice. Look at the gold tone on that. I know there's not going to be any real gold in here for sure. Not at a pawn store, but let me um let me see if it's marked. I don't see a maker's mark, but this is a nice a, a nicely made and nicely preserved piece. Nice condition. I don't see the other one of this, this weird butterfly, like a lucite butterfly earring. And this ring does not look real, does it? Let me double check. It says it is, but I'm not sure. And it says something religious. If God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. Oh, I like that. It does say that it's silver, so maybe, maybe. Sometimes from these pawn stores, you will find little tiny pieces of silver. I think this is a matcher to our 1928. 1928 is never a bad thing. Oh, dented. And by the way, I don't mean to insinuate that, um, oh good, here's this other butterfly earring, that uh, things that are not real silver or real gold are worthless. Some of the most money I've ever made has been on costume jewelry, believe it or not. These are interesting. Kind of weird, right? I like them though. I bet you those have a little bit of age on them. Kind of fun. And I guess this is all stainless. So I'll, I'll keep looking, but I think I grabbed out anything that was worthwhile. This is a shame. Very dented gold filled. Aw. Oh. Looks like somebody stepped on it or ran it over with their car or something. Forever in my heart. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the little rose. Let's say 14 karat gold filled, maybe? Yeah. Let's see if anybody's in here. I love when I find old photographs. No, nobody's in there. Well, that's all I got for this time around, everybody. Thank you, as always, so very much for coming to my video today. I think I got some pretty nice stuff. Definitely did get my $35 worth, I think, out of a lot of the 1928. A little bit of silver. That's such a pretty little locket, isn't it? I'll keep looking. I might have missed a couple of goodies, but that's pretty much it. I hope to catch you on the next one, everybody. Stay tuned, okay? Please like this video. Let me know what you think below. Subscribe to the channel if you feel like it, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.